welcome back. You're watching Overdrive. Since being overtaken by rivals BMW, Mercedes has been on a mission to reclaim the number one spot in the Indian luxury car market. In fact, it's pretty much put out a model a month since the start of the year. The latest being the new Mercedes E-Class Coupe. Sirish checks it out for us. The problem with increasing affluence is that a lot of people have a lot of money to spend on cars. The new E-Class, for example, while super desirable and all that, when you roll into the country club, invariably the Guptas and the Nayars will also have an E-Class. And when this new shape E-Class starts flying out of showrooms, which believe me, it will, because this new E-Class is best in class and extremely well priced, well then you will need something more distinctive. You will need something like this, the new E-Class Coupe. All the strengths of the E-Class in a much, much nicer looking package. The E-Coupe is a successor to the CLK, which was sold in India as a cabriolet. But to avoid confusion caused by too many nameplates, Mercedes drops the CLK name for this generation. Instead giving the Coupe the E-prefix and also most of its styling. Inside the coupe share the same styling theme as the sedan. It gets the same angular dashboard with an integrated command system, similar switch gear, which feels high quality and very nice to touch. What's different are the seats. Thinly padded, heavily bolstered, and with integrated headrests. And in this maroon shade, well, it looks rather sporty. At the rear, too, there are individual bucket seats, and while legroom is ample, headroom is slightly compromised by the sloping coupe roof line. Now it might seem weird to you, but the E-Coupe is not merely a two-door version of the E-Sedan. In fact, it's not really based on the sedan. Mercedes insists that 60% of components and modules are shared with the E-Sedan. But the other 40% has to come from somewhere, and it comes from the smaller C-Class. Considering the Coupe costs 8 lakh rupees more than the sedan, you would expect better quality materials. But what you get are too many bits and pieces from the C-Class. Shockingly, the seats don't have electric fore-aft adjustment and even the steering doesn't adjust automatically. To give it a sporty bend, the E-Coupe gets a much quicker steering rack and that makes it feel lighter, smaller and nimbler than the E-Sedan. But then again, it would, wouldn't it? Because of all that C-Class running gear, the E-Coupe is smaller and lighter than the Sedan. Like the E350, the Coupe gets the same V6 petrol. But since this car is much lighter, it has better acceleration, with 100 coming up in 7.5 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 250 kmph and it gets a 7-speed automatic transmission. However, during this drive, I sorely missed paddle shifts behind the steering wheel for manual operation of the gearbox, something that even the E-Class sedan has. We rated the saloon's dynamics very highly and the coupe gets even better thanks to revised spring and damper ratings. There's great body control, the front end resists understeer very well and it's a nice fluid car to drive fast round corners. But crucially, ride quality hasn't been compromised. At low speeds, thanks to the standard agility control dampers, which like in the C-Class, firm up at speed and become soft at low speeds, this car has got real fluidity, it rides very well over bumps and when you want to drive fast, it has a sporty character. The Coupe is more high-speed tourer than sports car, and that's a great niche to be in. Unlike its competition, the overtly sporty and more expensive BMW 6 Series, this is a more comfortable car to use every day. Its emphasis on luxury rather than sportiness is well judged, and that's especially apparent over typically bumpy Indian roads. Now let's face it, with two doors and a sloping rear roof line, the coupe is not a very practical car. And at 57 lakh rupees, it is more expensive than the four-door sedan. But if you're somebody who drives more than are being driven in your cars and you're looking for something glamorous while retaining the strengths of the E-Class, well, this might just be the car for you. 